That's Tommy Robinson. You might have seen him here or more recently online. In late May, Robinson was arrested outside Leeds Court. That very same day, he was sent to jail. He's now looking at 13 months behind bars. Since then, there's been organised protests across the country in London, Manchester, Leeds. People in their thousands are marching for Robinson's release. With some protests turning violent. Many believe his arrest and imprisonment is unfair or illegal. So, is it? Well, let's take it back a sec. Who exactly is Tommy Robinson? Or Stephen Yaxley Lennon? That's his real name. So, why the name swap? When Stephen Lennon was setting up an organisation called the English Defence League, he took that name as a tribute to a man he used to revere in his own town. In 2009, Tommy Robinson set up the English Defence League, or better known as the EDL. There is no problem with West Indian youth. There is no problem with Sikh youth. The problem is with Islamic, Islamic integration. Now, the EDL was a counter-organisation to what they saw as the threat posed by Islamist extremism in their hometown, and it grew very, very rapidly across the UK, setting up branches and often attracting thousands to its marches. He left in October 2013, saying that he'd suddenly become concerned about the threat of far-right violence in the UK. Instead of being part of the solution, it may become part of the problem, which is not what I've wanted. By removing him from the EDL, the organisation began to collapse. Four years later, in 2017, and Tommy Robinson's outside Canterbury Court, filming an ongoing trial where four men were convicted of gang raping a drunken 16-year-old girl. Robinson live-streamed the defendants walking into court. He also spoke about the case and filmed inside the court's entrance. Because of this video, he was given a three-month jail sentence. It was suspended for 18 months as long as he didn't commit any more offences. Fast forward a year, and now Tommy Robinson is outside a trial in Leeds, and this time he appears to do the same thing again. This is the verdict, so the trial's ended, the jury are making their mind This up. time he was arrested and he was immediately jailed for 13 months in relation to the original crime back at Canterbury. Of course, a breach of peace. I'm being arrested. But the content of what you're... Uh, Can we just say... Just supporters say it's an issue of free speech. And we are here to tell the world, and the UK government in particular, free Tommy Robinson! No one's muzzling Tommy Robinson. This is about protecting someone's right to a fair trial. So, ultimately, he's in prison because of contempt of court laws. And, yeah, it's complicated, so here's an expert to break it down. Uh, if a person is standing trial and they are accused of a very serious criminal offence, if you were allowed or anyone was allowed to publish anything about this person online, whether true or not, and we're obviously all very familiar with the idea of fake news, that said that they were guilty or that they had a history of doing exactly the same to 10 different people, um, that would be highly prejudicial to their rights to a fair trial. So it's necessary to stop people publishing that material, whether true or false, uh, until the trial is over. So this is why Tommy's been jailed, because he live-streamed the defendants entering court and spoke about the defendants during the ongoing trial. His actions could close down the entire case. That's more time and more money to reach a verdict. Oh, and it's worth noting, Tommy Robinson himself pleaded guilty to the charges. 